Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. In today's video, I'm going to show you how that I bend resin to create a free form standing resin sculpture and I'm using this 12 by 10 silicone mat to start my resin out in. The colors I'm going to be using today is this Resin Art Purple Galaxy and this Wild Jasmine, also Resin Art. And you can find these at uh, colorart.com. Also, going to be using Resin Art Mermaid and then this Color Obsession. 007 gold and this deco art satin enamel white and then I'll also use a little bit of clear so let's get started bending <laughs> so I've got all my colors mixed up except for the mermaid and the wild jasmine and I just wanted to show you that I do add a little bit of alcohol to these two um, just so that it will go ahead and dissolve uh, the powder and make it easier to mix into the resin. It takes less time to mix it in when you mix it with just a touch of alcohol. So I'm getting these all nice and stirred and blended. And then I have a little bit of clear that I'm going to start out on my mat with. Heat it up. And one word of caution that um, when you are using a heat gun on these silicone mats, sure you don't leave it on there very long because I have actually ruined one before by overheating. And I'm using Pro Marine resin today. Um, I have found that you need to use a um, resin that you have a little bit of working time with because I have tried this with quick resin that only has a 15 minute working time and you can't bend that um, it actually cracks and just ruins your whole piece so uh, I would make sure that I use a resin that you have a little bit of working time and your curing time will allow you to um, do the bending process so I have about 45 minute working time with the Proreen and I'm just laying down all my colors where I want them and then once I get the um, colors all in there just fill in a little few places that as the resin starts to try to level you may see areas where you need to add some and I always have a little bit of reserve just for that purpose and now I'm using uh, just pieces of parchment paper and I'm just swiping across my colors so that it gives it kind of a design and it will blend some of those colors allowing them as you pull them over each other it gives another um, color aspect to the whole piece too this is really easy to do you just very tip of your parchment paper is all that really needs to touch the resin. I went a little bit too deep there so you can see what happens when you do that. And I'm noticing as my resin is settling and starting to level, I do need to add little places um, to fill in. So I do that as I go along as I see them starting to uh, appear. And then I'm just taking uh, acrylic diamonds and their little diamond gems is what they are and I've coated the top just layered them on there really thick and if I see anywhere where I can actually see my mat I fill in with some resin and then filling in with a little more of the acrylic gems as I see them sink down and maybe they need to because I want a little bit of texture there next I took and let this cure for about four hours and then I laid my mat over glass face and let it start the bending process and I had uh, propped my face up on these little corner styrofoam pieces 
that had came in something that I had bought. And um, I always save that kind of stuff because you never know when you're going to need it to prop something or hold something or keep something in place. And then I let it sit there and um, for about another hour. And then I came back and I used those black binder clips, uh, like what you would use to bind your papers together. And I clipped the two edges at the top and the bottom. And then I put one right in the center and held my silicone mat in, in the circular shape that you see now. And then I let it set just like that for about a week. And now it's time to take the silicone mat out. And you can see it just peel right away. And then once you have it out, it retains that circular shape. You can see this corner right here where that was where the binder clip was. And um, I'll just heat it up maybe a little bit and work on getting that straightened. I'm going to add another layer of clear uh, resin over this as well and just to give it a little depth and any place where it might have pulled just a little bit and I've been bend the resin but it's going to be lovely. You can use this as a vase cover or you can use those flameless candles put in there and um, that's what I've done right here is put a flameless candle in. You can see where the light shines through and it's really lovely. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you've found it inspirational for me creating your own. And if you have enjoyed it, please click like and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that now. Ring that bell so you get notified of future videos when I upload them. I want to thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you.